driving after that stop sign and listen to music and next thing you know, our windshield gets busted right in front of my face. A scary situation for three Blount County teens. Something crashed into their window as they drove home Thursday night. According to the police report, they believe it was either a rock or a brick. Thankfully, no one was hurt. And tonight, reporter Grace King sat down with a family who says they're still in disbelief. That's right, Beth. The parents let their son pick up his brother from a nearby friend's house. Nothing out of the ordinary. But what happened afterward is something they're hoping will never happen again. They busted into our bedroom door and was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You're going to be so mad at what happened to your Jeep. Thursday night, Zan, Preston, and Cayman were headed home on Old Glory Road. We were driving down the road, and there was a truck coming the opposite direction, and somebody threw something probably out of the back of the, back of the truck. That object striking the boy's windshield. And it almost came in and hit me, and Zan was in the passenger seat. There's paint chips all on the top. And you can see in here, there's glass everywhere. And I looked at the front and there were shattered glass right in front of Cayman's face. The boys headed home as quickly as they could. But by the time police were able to reach the scene, they told the Fullers it was probably too late to do anything. You know, it given whoever had done this plenty of time to get home, get to wherever they were going and, and basically not be not not being able to be held accountable for it. Now the Fullers are hoping to use this as a teaching moment. You immediately stop at the closest safest place and call the police. Then call us so that the people responsible can be caught because you don't ever know what's going to happen, especially the way people are these days. We're just glad that you boys are OK. That's the most important thing. The Fullers are thankful all three boys made it home without any injuries. If you have any information regarding who may have thrown that object, please contact the Maryville Police Department.